vehicle that we're working on today is a 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm going to show you step by step how to remove the AC condenser. Um, that's going to include removing the front grill and some bracketry in the front. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, in order to get the grill off, we're going to have to remove a total of one, two, three, four, five, six plastic retainers. The plastic retainer actually has a middle insert. You're going to pull up on the middle insert, and then you can pull the whole assembly off. The middle insert may come off by itself. If so, you're going to have to grab the lower portion. I'm going to go ahead and remove one of them to show you what they look like. And this is what we've got. We've got the metal insert right here, plastic insert, excuse me. Let me. Put it back together so you see what it looks like. That's what it's going to look like in the car. Um, it's going to be, of course, flush. I've actually pulled it up to release it. Um, when you go to pull it, you're either going to pull the whole assembly out or just the upper piece will come out, and then you'll have to fish this out. Once you've got all six, then we're going to go ahead and grab the upper portion of the grill, pull it out, and we're going to lift up. Go ahead and remove the rest of them. Now we've got all six removed. Now we're going to pull back on the grill and lift up. As you see on the bottom of the grill, there are plastic hooks. Plastic hooks go into these little locations right here. To install it, all you would do is offer the opposite of removal, line everything up, push it back, put your plastic insert back in place. At this point, we've gone ahead and hooked up the AC machine, and we've gone ahead and removed the Freon from both the high pressure and low side fittings. So we know that the system has no Freon in it, so now we can actually work on it without causing any damage to us or the vehicle. The condenser is actually held in by four bolts. Um, one of them is located up under this plastic cover. Uh, one in the bottom corner, which you'll access from up under through a grill opening on the front bumper, which I'll show you shortly, as well as Here's one of them you can see, and directly at the bottom, just like on the other side, there's one bolt there. You do have on the front a power steering cooler that is held in with some plastic mounts that you will have to release and get the power steering pool, uh, cooler out of the way. The AC lines are going to be located up under this AC, the air inlet duct. Uh, in order to get to that, you're just going to pretty much pull on the duct work and grab it and you're going to pull it out of the AC filter housing. Just a matter of wiggling it so it unsnaps. Set to the side. Uh, as you can see here, you two AC lines we're going to be getting to. And now we actually have easy access to the upper condenser bolt as well. The one thing we will have to work on removing is the bracketry right here for the upper radiator support. You're going to have your two 13 millimeters right here that you'll take loose that also hold on the hood release and hood latch. Up underneath here, just under the edge of this bumper cover, there's going to be two more bolts or nuts, excuse me, that you're going to have to loosen or go ahead and take off to uh, get the bracketry out of the way. Once we do that, we can now actually pick up the AC condenser and pull it out through this opening. Right now what I'm showing you is I'm on the driver's side, up under the front bumper cover, right up under the lower air dam, in the gr lower grill opening. Uh, actually, I'm going to shine my light on. You can actually see that's one of the lower bolts for the AC condenser. Uh, as I said, we're going to get to it from right through this hole, and it's going to be exactly the same on the passenger side. One item that I'd probably recommend you doing is if you're going to go, go ahead once you take the hood latch off, so that you get it back in the original position so that the hood actually lines up perfectly and you've got the right height set is you can make marks where the nuts were originally on the studs or if it's never really been off before as you can probably look from looking at the, uh, the image here you can see a circle already um, when I go back to line it up I'm going to line it up to where once I start snugging up that nut I'm going to make sure that nut gets right about where that same shape is again and then snug it up and then verify the operation. Then you're going to see you pretty much won't have a problem. I've gone ahead and removed the upper bolts, or nuts, excuse me, for the bracketry like I told you. 
Um, what I've gone from up here, I use my trusty 13 millimeter ratchet wrench and I got to the lower nuts and got them all the way loose. Now I can actually get the bracketry up and out of the way. That way I have clear room to actually pull the condenser out. Now all we got to worry about, as I said, is to go ahead and get the 10 millimeter bolts off, AC lines, and go ahead and get this power steering cooler disconnected and out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get the 10 millimeters while uh, we move on to the next frame. What I want to go ahead and show you is that power steering cooler, how it mounts to the AC condenser and how you're going to release it. Um, this portion actually would be set inside the, uh, there's actually two holes that kind of been opened up on the condenser that this slides into that has uh, plastic retainers on the back. The cooler, uh, you would think, only snaps on like this, but actually there's more to it. You're actually going to have to squeeze these two tabs. When you squeeze the two tabs, you can then pull the power steering cooler off. Let me go ahead and show you. This side, the upper one's broke, the lower one's not. There we go, we pull that off. Other side, we're going to do basically the exact same thing. We're going to squeeze in on them and pull. And we're going to try to sit it out of the way so it's not going to do any damage to the front bumper. The actual problem for this vehicle, you can actually see where the oil residue is in places. The left side power steering cooler mount, it was never even in the holder. When it came in originally, it was basically sitting like this. The right side was attached, however the bottom wasn't. So what had happened was, it kept rubbing over a period of time until it finally rubbed a hole to the AC condenser. So that's actually the reason why we're replacing this one. So with that, we're going to reuse one side of the uh, retainer, and then the other one we've got to replace because it is broke. Right, so now we've moved on to removing the actual upper trans cooler lines, and then we're going to work on getting to the AC line. This AC condenser is actually a two-piece design. You can't really tell physically that it is unless you look close. This actual upper portion right here is actually the transmission cooler. From here down is the actual AC condenser. Um, the upper one, you can actually use special tools to release the clips that go in these fasteners here. Or if you've got a pick, you can actually use a pick to get in there to release it. Now, this is what they look like. Uh, they spring loaded. Uh, usually the tool would go right down in here and once it lines up you would twist it and as you twist it it would spread them apart so you could pull the line out. I'll just go ahead and show you if you don't have the tool how to go ahead and do it. I like to save the clips in case I need them for another job or if you are reusing this condenser and you're just taking it off so you can get to something else definitely save them that way you can reinsert them properly new AC condenser I have actually has new fittings already on it so there's no need in me saving them other than for future purposes so we'll move on to getting the two AC lines loose so at this now. point we've gone ahead and got the 13 millimeter nuts off of the uh, AC lines what I like to use is a 13 millimeter short ratchet wrench if you don't have a set you're going to do a lot of mechanic work definitely get you some they make long short ones I only use a 13 short, so I don't have many of the short ones. It gives me enough access to get down there to get to the nuts. Uh, got the lines off, both the trans cooler, the AC. We got the four 10 millimeters holding it on. At this point, we're just going to go ahead and just pick up and remove the AC condenser. With that, your job is halfway done. So uh, hopefully, this is giving you a little knowledge on what to do. Um, give you a little confidence if it's something that you can tackle you've got an AC machine you're a mechanic and you just want to know step by step great uh, if you're a customer uh, maybe if anything it just enlightened you on what the procedure was that the mechanic's going to have to use uh, with that I always appreciate you watching my videos always stay tuned for more